Hello and welcome to Infinity. Now we're looking at the uh, blend mode of hard light and how it is actually calculated. So, the hard light is in the contrast group and it makes use of the multiply and screen blend modes to create contrast, in other words making the light lighter and the darks darker. The overall calculation is that for each of the red, green and blue channels, which is done separately, the blend layer is the top layer, the base layer is the one underneath. So if the top layer is less than 0.5, in other words it's a smaller number, in other words it's darker because it goes from 0 to 1, then the result is 2 times, never mind the 2 times, we'll come to that in a minute, but it's base times blend and this is the multiplier, so we number, multiply them together. And if you multiply a fraction by a fraction, you're going to get a smaller number. So in other words, it's making it darker. Otherwise, you're going to do a 1 minus, then an invert and another invert. The 2x in here, again, is because it uses two levels. It's doing a multiply and a blend, and we'll see that. Just as a note, and it's actually quite important to know this, the overlay blend mode is exactly the same, except instead of you're looking at the blend layer, you're looking at the base layer. In other words, you swap the base and blend layer, top and bottom layer, and you'll get the same result. So just a reminder of how the calculation works. The multiply, if you've got like red, green and blue like this, which gives you this colour, and the top layer here, so this is underneath, this is on top, then you to multiply, you multiply each of these, so 0 0.2 times 0 0.7, and so on, like this. So 0 0.2 times 0 0.7 gives 0.14, so the red end is 0 0.14, which of course is smaller. In other words, it's made it darker because it's less than 0 0.2 on the top layer here. The screen calculation, a little bit trickier, but very similar in a way. So imagine this is the base layer, top layer looks like this, and then... Instead of taking these layer levels here, you top it up to 1. In other words, it's 1 minus it. So 1 minus the amount, which gives you this. And similarly, right there. So now we're multiplying the 0 0.3 times the 0 0.8, like this, which is 0 0.24. And then we invert it again. In other words, take 1, take away the 0 0.24, which gives us this amount here. So we're getting 0 0.76. So now this is about screen, makes it lighter, so 0 0.76 is greater than 0 0.7 or 0 0.2, but it's still nicely within the range, it's not going to shoot off anywhere. So, working on the way that this blends. Looking at this in Affinity Photo, we've got here on the base layer here, the one underneath is on the X direction going from 0 to 1, which from black to white. Then the layer on top, the blend layer goes in the y direction, going from 0 to the bottom to 1 at the top. So now what happens if we go here and put in a hard light blend? We get this here. Now a way to look at this is, if I turn off the bottom layer so I can look at this, so you're turning the bottom layer on, see what happens. So in other words, the top layer here, the whites at the top dominate and the blacks at the bottom, and so the effect of the bottom layer is only coming in in the middle. You can see the way that's generally, there's a, so there's a mid-tone effect here, going from dark to light, which comes from the bottom layer. And the lights on the dark so they, uh, come from the top layer. So that's an effect to remember when using this. So, let's go back to the presentation here and show this. So there's the base layer, there's the blend layer, and with hard light we get that effect. So the white at the top here comes from the white up there, the black at the bottom here comes from the black there, and then the going from naught across here is appears in the mid-range. So you get mid-range from the base underneath, and the highlights and the shadows and the whites and darks comes from the layer on top. Overlay um, if we do the same sort of thing, it looks like this. So this is, if you look on the, take that as a, an axis of rotation, this is, happens, just rotate around there. So it's the same shape, just flipped along the diagonal. 
and the hard light looks like this. So you can get like an S curve, which is a contrast curve, which comes from the multiply bit here. And the screen happens there like that. So you've got a, like an S curve. And this is why you've got the 2x going on, because you've got this double range here like that. Overlay happens in a very similar way, but going kind of sideways now. So that goes like that and the overlay goes like that. Just some key points about it. So it kind of squeezes the multiply and screen together like overlay, but in, in a reverse for me like an S curve. And it's a, so it is that reverse of overlay. And sometimes a stronger effect than overlay, which is why it's kind of further down the list. Anyway, that's it. That's how the hard light is calculated and some of the reasons why it looks like it does. Hope that was useful and thank you very much for watching.